Out much? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't had a shower, have you? I'm a bus. It's a bit of a somber mood. Waiting to go back to the city center, Stockholm. Just got off the boat. Said goodbye to all our new friends. Yeah. I'm gonna pester some bands to join up and dine a dance now. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Already gave the uh, guitarist David from Pew a link on napkins. So. See how that works out. Mm. Yeah. We also have some random, random people we met that probably will sign up. So be nice to them. Yeah. yeah Thomas gonna... was fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but one of the best shows I've seen. Perhaps the best show. Yeah, I've seen. definitely the best show I've yeah. ever seen. It was like the Nirvana unplugged for Prague fans. <laughs> <laughs> probably. No! Don't do that comparison. No. Please. No. Don't put me it's on the same for you. as at Thomas. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're at the time to your opinion. No, no, I, I fucking hate Nirvana. It's just... No, I don't hate them, but... Well, I, what I, the I, fuck is Nirvana? Well, anyway, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> right, of course. No, I'm no. I, I think it was great yesterday as well. Fucking yeah. amazing. Was, are you shooting this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Making a small documentary. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen my face? Yeah, we've seen your face. Yeah. Oh, look, it just hurt. Oh, fuck face. <laughs> Did someone punch Straight you? from the bottom. Did someone punch you in the face? Yeah, some sleaze rockers punched him. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was Not sorry. for any good. No. Oh. <laughs> Those assholes. For God's sake. Yeah. No. How dare they? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. He's yeah, from Romania. Cool. And he's from Norway. Cool yeah. dude. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys you from here? or? Team uh, Klaus. From Örebro. Sorry? Örebro uh, is a small town in the... I don't know what it says, but uh, it's a fucking great t-shirt. Pretty badass. Oh, it's in Finnish. Oh, look like <laughs> what, it. What did he say? It's like a Finnish. The Finnish are fucking steady. Oh. <laughs> it, it says that he's a mannequin for the Finnish uh, weapon. Mannequin uh, for the Finnish war. The Finnish gor gorilla. Yeah, Finnish gorilla. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's probably it. <laughs> yeah. No, war. You know. They like war in Finland. Yeah. <laughs> Basta war. <laughs> Sauna war. Yeah. Try to do it first. Okay, so our bro from the back of the bus came up and gave us his album. It's yeah, released on album. Crusher Records. So it's gonna be Crusher. Red. <laughs> There it is. Yeah. Oh, this brings me up to like 17 uh -huh. years. New model. The oh my god 600, the fastest fucking moped on the market. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Comes Woo! with a rocket launcher. Nuclear missiles. <laughs> oh my god 666. <laughs> the moped of Satan himself. Just so you know what the fuck's going on, uh, we're just walking randomly down the street. Estrel is about to go take his bus to train. Train, yeah, same shit. <laughs> so back to Norway. We're gonna our good friends, dear, 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 dear friends, Dan, the human from upstate New York, and uh, Kung Fu or Wing Kong Lang, Dan. And Dan, fuck you from uh, Hong Kong. Kong. Yeah. And so just like. This is Kestrel. Um, we're at the train station. I'm about to take the train back to Oslo. And to sum it up, I don't think I could have had a better time this weekend, to be honest. Yeah. The music was great. People were great. Uh, it was super expensive, though. Me and Aaron spent like 
It, it was fifty dollars. Fifty dollars on a dinner the other day. Oh shit! But that was. <laughs> There's a shitty fucking s'more too. Yeah. But the that, one with the wine and yeah, beer. Yeah, it had free wine and beer, so I. So guess. did you have all the wine? No. Nah. We had own? most of one bottle, and then Aaron just opened the other bottle up and had like this much of it, just be an asshole. <laughs> uh, so that was cool. Uh, and basically, it has been an absolutely yeah. owning weekend, period. Everything uh, was just right. All you faggots that didn't go, just regret it. Especially the Swedes, fuck you. This is Opeth and Zed here, or Rons, whatever you want to call me. Welcome to my crib. At any rate, uh, yeah, awesome, 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 awesome weekend. Well worth all the money I spent. Comus was fucking magical, everything was... Beyond words. Yeah. Wow. Well, folks, you never. So, the trip was fucking amazing. Every band was like super tight and super great performances out of pretty much everyone we've seen. I think my absolute favorites would be Comus and Opeth and Treachery got Kriget. Plankton was really impressive. Yeah, promise. And the monster and, and Pew. Yeah, you, you can mention promise oh, and the can. monster. Yeah, 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 okay. You all know yeah. you're, you're the special fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm the special. F yeah, big deal. <laughs> yeah, promise monster ruled. Probably top five. Actually, I'm gonna do my top five now if you, if you don't mind me cutting in here. Comus, of course, best show ever. Well, Pat played a new song. Play Sturdy, Pay to Death. Trajectory and Kriget were just so fucking tight. So tight. Really impressed me. Promise of the Monster, really intimate show. Just beautiful. Tell about the special mention you got. Okay, I was going to just post about this anyways. Um, we were watching um, Promise of the Monster play, and it was really good. We kept clapping. And then, like, second, third, last song, she gets off the stage, and. Uh, Sits down by the young Mellotron guy, cries <laughs> a bit, and her and her, her sister pats her on the shoulder, and they go up, and uh, she's like, you all so much, thank you. And she points to this guy, me, and it's like, but especially thank you. And then she flashed a button. And yeah, so, prompts the monster loves me. Be that Fletch. Yeah. Could have banged with him. Let's see Cat Tanya. Dan Bell, USA. Debrief for uh, Melibo 2008. I have to say, uh... Pretty good. Hey, your What's the name of your Well, um, pretty uh, fantastic show all around. Nothing was bad. Even Axe's girlfriend, who was alright. She was pretty hot, so it was alright. It didn't even matter if she was good or bad. And, um, let's see. Top show, probably Comus. Exceeded all expectations. Roger Wooten probably eats children. <laughs> um, Certainly eats children. Sure. Three good Kriget. How you ever pronounce that? Unbelievable. Probably the best uh, forty. I guess like seventy-year-old guys playing music I've seen. I guess best geezer rock show. Lee found was uh, exceeded all expectations too. Peter French can still sing. Now we just need an Atomic Rooster reunion. Uh, also paid. Came on. Okay. Yeah, Pear came on and did a special appearance with Leaf Hound. That was sweet. Yeah. Rose of Mushrooms with Pear. And Pear should uh, play more rock and roll, yeah. as we figured out. Um, and he should have children with the keyboardist from Anecdote, and they should play keyboard rock and roll too. <laughs> Let me think. What else? Bo oh, Bo Hansen, unbelievable. Got some, a uh, little bit of everything some Lord of the Rings, some Hansen and Carlson, some Magician's Hat, all the classics. And, uh,. What else is great? Oh, Matt's Morgan. For those of us who stayed up, <laughs> probably unbelievable. Uh, Matt's Olfgren, if you ask me to pronounce his name, probably the most unbelievable keyboardist you'll ever see. He's blind too. He's like Stevie Wonder, but Swedish and white. <laughs> Without <Bad>. dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, no, we haven't talked about yet. It's the Brave Murder Day reunion. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Unbelievable scene. Yeah, one of the All right. best moments. So what happened, this is how it went. Okay, they play evidence, like, oh, cool, we know they're going to play murder next, that's what they always end with. But wait, Jonas starts talking in Swedish, and I don't know what he says. <laughs> then Michael Ackerfeld comes out, and he speaks in Swedish, too. 
and then <laughs> he fingers us. <laughs> what he said was, uh, uh, we got a guy backstage who looks like a god and sings like a god. And Michael Oaken failed. Yeah. And Jonas can't tell a lie. <laughs> it was true. They did murder. Some of the leads were a little, uh, weren't as in tune as they could have been, but it didn't matter because it was Michael Ackerbelt singing murder. You mean asking me uh, about, any, about my comment top five or something? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Top well, the top one probably is the Comus. Yeah, this is the most impressive uh, show that I ever watch. Yeah, and it's really exciting to watch it. Yeah, because I never expect the uh, all of us are really so excited. Yeah, really enjoy it. And then the second is to be, uh, I think I'll choose uh, Promise and the Monster. Yeah, because hear her voice is really unbelievable and yeah, the voice is just like the same as she sang in the CD. Yeah, the voice is beauty and also the guitar is good and then, well, the third one is uh, Anna Dalton. Anna Dalton is also good and then I, I become really addicted to them after I watch them. Yeah, and I bought uh, three CDs in the oh. convention. Yeah, yeah really? I start to love it. Yeah, really nice. And then the fourth, I think, Opeth. But Opeth is the reason why I came here. But I'm not going to choose Opeth for the top. But yeah, because that uh, Opeth, I'm. I think that the crowd, the people watching the show, is not. Uh, make me not feel so enjoying to watch it. Yeah. It's not as good as I expect. Yeah. I expect this I can really enjoy the open so but yeah that's really great anyway. And then the fifth one is um I don't know how to pronounce the thread, 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 yeah. yeah. Those old guys are really yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Oh I talked to Frederick by the way. Michael has re-recorded all the acoustic parts for the Still Life reissue. There's been 50 copies of the new Opeth album sent out to journalists. and specially done so that, well, they can the, trace. Them. Yeah, they can trace them through the frequencies that they put in the music. So don't expect it to leak anytime soon. And they hate it that it's released in June. With this whole World Runners fault. Oh. And uh, oh yeah, Michael called a. Uh, Frederick an ugly turd when we were watching, <laughs> which is pretty accurate because turd's only a few letters off of troll. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, more open out info. Michael said, for the mellow part, he's been very, very influenced by Scott Walker, especially on the Scott 4 album, so some 60s kind of corner stuff. Get some more, uh, I also say it's probably the most diverse album that they've done by far. That's actually what Stefan said as well, is that Lots of the fans will not know what to think because they've moved forward. But yeah, there's one song that's apparently really cheesy. And, uh, one song that, well, Stefan's words yeah. were grindcore and then funky jazz. Well, may maybe that, that song would feature a bear solo or something. Yeah. Oh, other thing. Clean singing over blast beats. Should be exciting. Yeah. Well, there wasn't even any clean singing on it here, apparently. No, that was no, all. There's, there's all more blast beats coming up. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And Michael didn't rule out singing like Donald Duck on the next OPEC album. <laughs> I asked him, and he said he would be, he might even consider it. Yeah, and for the doubters, like, and of you, right? And oh, other yeah, people yeah, said yeah. Comus won't be able to pull it off. Oh. You were wrong. <laughs> it was they so pulled wrong. it off so well. So wrong. <laughs> and and the, the female singer, she pulled it off perfectly. She was so good. Yeah. So good. So good. I'm going to go out and say it was better than the first ever CD. Because I was doing this morning. We had the live album. Or live album. Live performance. Yeah. Roger really does eat children. <laughs> he's, he's crazy. Like, I would probably, like, I was nervous about approaching everyone else, like all the musicians at the council, but I was afraid to talk to Roger. Oh, yeah, by the way, I think for the whole boat show, Stephen Wilson was in my peripheral vision. I just, <laughs> I saw that asshole so much. Like, we were saying, by the end of the show, it was like, you got so used to seeing 
all these different musicians like, oh yeah, there's bass, who gives a fuck? Because every five minutes you're bumping into someone from Anecdote or Opath or whatever. Like when we were watching Pew, Emma Norenstad was sitting right behind Lars. Yeah, it was good times. So you guys should really buy the DVD when it comes out. To see how much of a good time we have. <laughs> and what you missed out on. Because you missed out on a lot. <laughs> yeah. I have a hard time thinking of anything that could top this year. Yeah. But I'm going next year if the lineup is good. And I'm pretty sure it will be. Uh, maybe we'll get like Oliver playing on the same bill as the Mars Volta. <laughs> Black Bonds and all those other bands. I'm that wouldn't be as good as this year. This is literally like, <laughs> all right. If you, what if you had a wet dream festival? What would it be? And I would say, Comus Reunion number one. And it was there. Yeah. Over the Catatonia, there. Yeah, but you didn't get there. you didn't get King Crimson like you tried to. Good. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, a Peter Gabriel Genesis reunion would be nice as well. But uh, well, can't have everything. Suppose. Yeah. Maybe next year. I don't know, I just consider that a Genesis show first and foremost, you know. I wouldn't care about anything else and I just go for Genesis. Yeah. But as a festival, as a as a group of bands playing uh, on a couple of nights, you can't beat that. Especially with headliners as, such as Comus and Opeth. I'd also like to take this moment this moment to say David from Pew. He's a true bro. And hopefully he joins the full. Yeah. So yeah, true. And he's really happy about everything all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, think he's ever yeah. said. It's probably Christian, to be honest. No, I, oh. Battery <laughs> smokes a lot of pot. Yeah. What? Well, I don't know, like, if he smoked, he's like high all of like, he was high for 40 hours straight if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. He's really like. Yeah, did you see him while he was playing? Yeah. yeah. Sitting with his guitar line. And yeah, then when, like, when he's done with the violin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so let, let's hope you join the forum and watch this video and see us talking about it. And then he'll feel all special and happy inside. Well, he, he does that all the time anyway. Yeah. Oh, and also, uh, Andy Hellaby and the blonde chick from Pew. Andy was making some moves. Who's Andy Hellaby? The gay bassist from Conan. Oh, yeah, he was. So He probably banged her later. When? When, <laughs> yeah, when was that? Last night. Yeah, during yeah. Lee found there to sit in. Yeah, so maybe we'll get some... Uh, more offspring that can jam out with her and uh, the girl from Manic Goten's children. Yeah. And then maybe Baby Ackerfelds can play too. Well, will probably be retarded because he's like a 60 year old scene. <laughs> old men can have. How does that work? No, Steven doesn't go. Uh, get, isn't no. there a higher chance to get your retard the older you get? Nope. Uh, well, it's the water is all. Yeah, okay. He's the fucking bassist from Coma, so <laughs> how bad can his semen be? I mean, oh, yeah. Probably. This is what he does. Oh man, I want to get people pregnant. There, <laughs> magic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we didn't get the good bass solo from uh, the bite. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't play the bite or bid in, which yeah. was a, a shame, but hell, we got to see Song to yeah. twice. Oh, and we got the, the awesome effects oh. from the Herald. You know, oh, yeah. The start. Yeah. Woo, the, and, and the, the violin gold. and the drip. Yeah, and that was sweet. Exclusive cover, Venus in Furs. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Yeah, they covered Venus in Furs by Velvet on the Ground. That was sweet. That was an unexpected surprise. Yeah, I mean, I Unexpected surprise. It wasn't surprise really an unexpected surprise, surprise because Rolf told us. Yeah, Not so only did Rolf so tell us, but it, so did Stefan. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. So it's, <laughs> this is the definition of a, of a expected surprise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> face Either smack. way, it was pretty nice. Yeah. But I was kind of disappointed that our chanting of bass player, bass player didn't lead to anything at all. Well, we, it was pretty good. Um, I think it'll sound good on the video. Like, we might even be able to fool people with the whole yeah, crowd. Yeah, they didn't give him a solo. Yeah. That's what I was hoping for. Actually, our, our chant for bass tech. Yeah. That, that game liked the bass tech. People liked the bass tech. They didn't like the bass player. Actually, whenever I saw bass player on the boat, I was really going, bass! <laughs> but uh, uh, he never noticed or ignored me. Probably just assume that you didn't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they know about the bass player. Oh, they know thing. about bass yeah. They put it on the on the Ghost Reveries special DVD. In the end, in the ending credits, they credited it to Martin Bass Player Mendes. Thanks, uh, Aver, for that. 
Yeah. But that was back when Martin had long hair. So now what? That he cut it, everything's different. Oh, oh yeah. He's a new everything. guy. This is like a wrap up, so it would take three YouTubes. <laughs> yeah. All right. You need some sweet editing, like yeah. <laughs> fade out here. Like, maybe like a slice to the next frame. Yeah. On that note, I think we'll wrap it up. I gotta go catch my train soon anyway. Yeah. All right. All right. So final All right. thoughts. Faces from Comus eating babies' pussies. <laughs> <laughs>